Mercy Corps, the Portland based international aid group said they are horrified by the findings of a new investigation about past sex abuse by its co founder. Much of the abuse was focused on his daughter, who tried for years to tell adults what was happening. An investigative report by the Oregonian in 2019 first brought the abuse to light. A warning now, this story has frank descriptions of sexual abuse. Pat Doris reports. Tanya Culver Humphrey is weary. It's been a, 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 um, an exhausting couple of years. I'm tired. I'm uh, really tired. She may not feel like it talking in a hotel lobby, but she's probably one of the toughest fighters in the world. For decades, she tried to tell powerful adults in positions to do something that her revered father, Ellsworth Culver, co-founder of Mercy Corps, had sexually abused her and other girls. She said it happened both in Portland and overseas, and that one girl died as a result, and she was ignored. Mercy Corps is an international relief agency based in Portland that works on the front lines of crisis around the world. Now, a year and a half after the Oregonian newspaper investigated Culver Humphrey's allegations and found them credible, a second investigation, paid for by Mercy Corps, backed that up. They interviewed Culver Humphrey for 100 hours and forwarded the names of other possible perpetrators no longer with Mercy Corps to law enforcement. On the one hand, I am, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased that there's accountability and validation and acknowledgement. That's like huge, because that's what I wanted. But she also wants more. She wants you to know international aid workers are in unique positions of power over the vulnerable and that it would be easy for a perpetrator like her own father to abuse children. I feel, I feel a huge weight of responsibility to keep telling those, those, their stories and my story. She wants you to hear about a disturbing incident that happened while she was nine years old and on a trip to Thailand with her father. The details are gruesome. You may not want to hear it. At first, another aid worker was involved with just me. Uh, where he raped me and hurt me. And then she was brought in. This is a picture of Tanya when she was nine at that hotel in Bangkok. She said she was told to be good at sex because it would help other children. The thing that I was told was that didn't I want to do a good job like they knew how much I cared about the refugees because I had just been to the refugee camp. I had just been let loose to play with these kids who had nothing. And I cared about them. And I didn't, and I felt guilty that I was the only one with a bed. She said a local nine-year-old was brought in and her father and the other man sexually abused them both. And later it turned violent. It choked me, but I didn't die. I saw them choking her. I never remember her waking up. They put her in the bed with me to, to take care of her, which made me feel even worse because I felt like I was supposed to take care of her. She spent the night next to the girl and that in the morning the girl was dead. The most recent investigators said they could not verify the child's death but that the times and dates of the trip to Bangkok did match Tanya's story. The horrors lasted until Tanya Culver Humphrey was in her teens. Mercy Corps called the report findings abhorrent. The current CEO thanked Tanya for her courage and persistent, apologized for the actions of past leaders, and promised to continue strengthening systems of accountability and integrity. Now, all these years later, she cannot forget, doesn't want to. The investigation is over. But she's just beginning to warn the world about the dangers of people like her father, a pedophile hidden in an international relief agency. I feel so much responsibility, like I want to get this right. I want to tell her story. I don't want to tell all those kids stories. I want people to listen because I shouldn't be the only one that gets to say something. Pat Doris, KGW News.